In this video, I'll be giving you a tour of the Century Boat 2300. It's a walk around cuddy cabin. It's a 23 foot, measures 24.9 from end to end. And I'm gonna be showing you the different uh, specs about this uh, particular vessel. I have been requested this by a few people because this is a 2002 uh, boat. In other words, it's an older boat. Uh, it has a Yamaha HPDI engine of the same year. I think it's got approximately 230 hours on it. This boat has not been used for lengthy time. Most of the trips on this boat have been short trips. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour of this boat. Hope you enjoy it. It's gonna have detail on the engine itself. It's the high performance, high pressure direct injection known as HPDI. Again, this is a 2002 boat and I'm gonna be unveiling all the uh, things that are on, on this boat. Uh, the boat show just passed by and in my opinion, obviously, um, it's expensive. Uh, there are very uh, few boats that are really at the level of affordability. And not only at the level of affordability, uh, do you really want to spend that type of money on a vessel. So this is a 2002 and a very inexpensive boat when I purchased it. And it's probably very inexpensive today also but it does the job and I'm gonna show you thank you for joining Florida for Funshine I hope that this video is entertaining it gives you some knowledge and hopefully you'll be able to find a boat similar to this there are a lot of them out there people don't use their boats sometimes and about and you know if you buy a boat that hasn't been used that much and you don't know the whole history of it, then my suggestion will be that when you do get it, you do a full maintenance on it and I'll show you what that will entail. So, Florida for Funshine, one more time here to show you the Century 2300 walk around cutty cabin. And I'm gonna show you all the details from front to back. So, I hope it's not a boring video, but it, it is gonna be informative because I'm gonna go basically through everything that this boat has, why I like it, why I don't like it, the uh, pluses of having a used boat, and especially a used boat that's this old, 2002, we're in 2024 right now, so this is a 22 year old boat. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's take a look at the outside of the boat. Um, like I said, it has a 2002 Yamaha High Pressure Direct Injection HPDI. If you have an HPDI yourself, I do have a lot of videos on some repairs and maintenance uh, for this particular boat. And I'll invite you to go ahead and check them out. It does have the hydraulic steering. Okay. This is a couple of the add-ons that I did to it. I put a uh, diving ladder here, or a swim ladder. Here we go. It's pretty, it's, I changed it, I had a small one. I changed it to a larger one because it just makes it easier uh, to get it on and off. It's a long ladder, it's got four steps on it. I added this handle here. And I added the handle up here so when people are getting up, when I'm getting up, especially because I need help getting up there, has the rod holders, plastic. This is your where you put in the uh, uh, engine oil. It's a two-cycle motor. And then it has a port here or a place where you could put fresh water. It does have fresh water wash down on it. Like I said, the hydraulic steering. It's in very good shape. I'll go into the engine. Probably the engine will be the last thing that I uh, literally open up and show you the inside. So let's go ahead and go inside. The motor. Well, let's let's first check the outside just so you can see 
the condition of the outside. It hasn't had a wax job at all in a little while, but it's still, it's holding its own. Let me just give you a little walk around here. This is the outside, very limited, um, if none, I think none, scratches that are really notable. Now I will say one thing that I do not like right now off the, off the bat, it's the bottom paint. When I did purchase it, this uh, boat was originally from New York and they kept it in the uh, river and they did put some bottom paint on it. I've checked around because I've been wanting to remove it but I really haven't found a place that will remove it at least at a, what I would consider a worthwhile price. It's, it goes into the thousands to remove this uh, bottom paint for a couple of thousand dollars and I really don't want to do that. As far as the trailer, the trailer in this case will be irrelevant because you know a trailer is a trailer you can always change it but it has a, a nice trailer so far. Okay and there it is this is the uh, the outside it's got the high railings which I like that way when you walk around the here it doesn't you don't fall off easily you have that railing. And the other side, more or less, it's the, in the same condition as far as uh, no scratches. It doesn't have any stains on it. And I'll just give you a quickie around here. There we go. Now I've shown uh, this, a boat does have an air conditioner that I put right here. Um, like I said, I take it off for the winter. And if you like to check out um, a video of, of the air conditioner that it has, it does have a AC connection that I made. I also have a video on that connection that I made for the air conditioner. So this is uh, the outside, the outside of the boat. Very good condition. Like I said, this is a 2002, keep in mind. You know, the transom, everything is in, you know, pretty good shape. No cracks, no uh, soft spots anywhere on this uh, boat. And it is a 2002. Now let's go inside the cabin and I'll show you the cabin. Okay, and this is the helm of the boat. And I'll give you a little tour of that, you know, and before we go into the cabin, this is the back of the boat. And the helm is here. I'll show you a few things in the helm. I'm just going to go ahead and take you to the uh, to the cabin. It's set up right now um, with the dining. In other words, uh, it has a table in there, um, so you can dine. I have uh, my rods and reels there, and uh, it's a very comfortable uh, cabin, in my opinion, for what I needed. I guess everything is good if it um, meets your needs, obviously. This uh, cabin meets the needs that I have at the moment. So right now it's set up as, um, as a dining area, I guess a sitting dining area, and I'm using part of it for storage while I'm not on the water. And it does have, like I said, the uh, air conditioning that I install in the summer months when the weather is really hot in here. Now this can be set up uh, with one more section where the um, table is at. And it can also be set up as a full berth for sleeping. It does have uh, LED lights in there and so forth. And... Um, this is it. This is the uh, the cabin. By the way, this boat weighs 3,400 pounds. 
dry uh, has a tank uh, gasoline tank of 160 gallons which in my opinion it's um, too much it's more than I need so I don't usually keep it full uh, and the reason I don't keep it full is because of the um, the weight factor it, it, it you know way too much and I I pull it with a uh, Dodge Durango that has the 3.6 and uh, anything um, heavier than that will <laughs> will not be good now I did not mention there is some storage inside the um, the cabin under the uh, cushions I don't use that too much because it's kind of inconvenient you have to remove all the cushions to get to it it does have here a storage I usually use this as um, coolers and then I use this one here in particular to store you know life vests and uh, extra anchor and some tools and some tackle there's another one there thinking of getting some cushions for here putting a, a cushion so it can become a seat so uh, the other also for this one here getting a cushion so I can uh, sit down there it does have raw water raw water yeah. that's salt water some rod holders I really don't use that, those as rod holders either and then it has the fresh water also which is here and under here you have the fresh water uh, hose that you can use it for fresh water if you need to and then you have a live well here live well and then you have another storage area here take this uh, let out of here this is the other storage it can also be set up as a live well so here I have a couple of uh, fish boxes pretty roomy one on each side, one on the port side, and one on the starboard side. So it has one on the port side, and then one on the starboard side. Just some fish boxes, nothing fancy. Oops. There we go. And then here, some rod holder space, which I don't use. It does come with a seat that I can clamp on here. I don't use it because I like this. You know, it's got a pretty, let me just step back and you'll see. Uh, for being a small boat, it does have um, a nice area for fishing and just relaxing there. If you go out cruising, you know, the seat can be put on there. I'll show you the, the seating. So this is, um, you know, the inside. I do have, it does have lights. Uh, it does have some lights that I put and wired up and installed. Very, nothing fancy, but they do the, they do the work the horn and there's your um, LED lights I don't really know if you can see it with the uh, with the light here but maybe I'll find a little clip that I could show you how they look at night nothing like I said nothing fancy but they definitely do the work I mean you can look at it different ways uh, fancy or practical um, it has another one under there. It's being covered by this tray that I have here to put stuff. As far as equipment, guys, I mean, practical, not fancy for me. It's got this older Garmin, the GPS 162. Nothing fancy, but nice. And then it has this Garmin. This is, um, by the way, this is the Garmin Echo Map 50s. 
that's what it's called. Okay, and then here is where I mount, uh, I mount that, um, an iPad here uh, with the Navionics, then that's how I use, uh, this is the Navionics um, to navigate. I mount it here on an iPad, it works out really well also. Then you have your Yamaha gauges and you know, just the normal, have an AM, FM radio here. That's it, I don't think I, maybe used it once. It's got the Lenko controls here, Lenko tap controls. And then your lights to control. That's it, I mean, like I said, this is a Sentry, Sentry boat. This is the, it's like you can tell by the logo, it's an older one. See if it focuses in nice. And um, then you have your, just your control here. Got a couple of um, speakers there. I think they were from West Marine or Amazon. I don't even know. I hardly used the. So, like I said, I'm not criticizing those that have it. I'm just not one that listens to music when I'm out there. And then you have the tea bag there. I have all my life vest and paperwork and so forth. You have your lights. It is a hard top. Hard top. Then you got your rod holders. And it's basically due now for uh, uh, cleaning these uh, rails. I, I have a video which uh, was pretty popular because uh, I, I showed um, on that video, look it up, I showed how to clean the uh, railings on, on a boat. And as far as anything else in here, I mean, you got your rod holders and you know, a couple of rod holders here and there. I do have um, um, one, two, I think it's two three, four, five, six, seven, about eight, eight or nine uh, rod holders. Like I said, nothing fancy. Uh, practical is basically what I uh, look for. I do have outriggers. They're right here. Have them there in case I, I want to use them. Uh, I've used it a couple of times. It hasn't really been, for me, uh, a home run, but it is what it is. And then on the front, you have the, you know, you can walk around it. It's not too wide, but it's wide enough. And there's where you have your anchor, where you put away your rope and so forth. And then it's got the box here to, uh, where I keep the VHS radio. Is it VHS? No, it's a VHF. VHF radio. And a little bit of storage for some whatever. This is the whatever storage. The keys, uh, you put keys there, and your phone, or whatever it is that you do when you go out. So this is, like I said, this is the, uh, the boat itself. It's a 2002. And you know, at the end of the day, I like, uh, it does what it does. Very reliable, um, you know, it's not a new boat. It's not a new motor, but uh, reliability definitely is is what I have here. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to see much inside here. But this is where I have, you know, the batteries and all the hoses and motors for the washdown and the live well. There's, you have your tank there for the oil, your f it's a water separator. And I keep um, it charged. Uh... I keep it for a little uh, charge so it, the, the batteries don't drain. And then I have the bait cutter here. So let's let's take a, take a look at the motor. Like I said, it's a Yamaha 200 HPDI. I'm going to show you the motor. And I invite you to hang in there. Hang in there with me while I show you this Century 2300 with uh, 200 horsepower. HPDI. Okay, now here we are at the motor. This is, again, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know again. This is the 2002 Yamaha 200 horsepower HPDI. 
2002. It's got 236 hours on this motor. And the secret to keeping a good motor, number one, I have to admit I'm not good at this one, but to use it a lot. To make sure you, you're out on the water often. And the other thing, obviously, is maintenance. These motors are very sensitive to, they're very sensitive to gas. Uh, they, they want the gas nice and clean. So you have your high pressure filter here. You have the VST here. There's a filter in here. You have the bowl filter right here, which, you know, you want to be changing it. And then you have the filter inside the boat, the water separating filter. I think it's 10 microns or something to that effect and um, this is the secret and obviously you have your spark plugs which you also want to be um, pretty much on top of it to change it so this is the the motor 2002 folks this is what this motor now it does have a um, stainless steel prop and um, I'll show you real quickly the prop. It's a 15 by, I think it's 15 by 15 or 15 by 17. Does a really good job um, moving this um, boat around. I get on a good day about 38 miles per uh, hour. 38 miles per hour speed on this. I haven't um, really tested or tried to uh, calculate. Wow, that noise over my voice not good. Uh, I haven't really tried to calculate the mileage that I'm getting on it. I haven't really had that interest yet because, I, like I said, I don't do really long trips. Basically, to the reef and maybe nine miles, ten miles out. So uh, let me go ahead and start it up for you and that'll be the end of the video. Um, I have this set up here. So um, this is the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you and show you how it runs. It should start up, you know, at the, at the very short turn of the um, starter motor. And uh, we'll see. So here we go. of this video was not to show off my boat or to show you my boat necessarily it's to encourage you that if you like the water you like the sandbar you like uh, the life out there of fishing there is an alternative you can get a used boat that's well maintained and that is in good shape that's what I did and I'm having fun thank you for watching Florida for fun shine I hope to see you uh, in other videos and you know i'm not gonna ask you right now to subscribe to my channel what i am gonna ask you is check out my channel and if you enjoy the videos that i have there subscribe and join me in sharing with you the adventures at florida for fun shine signing out hope that you are well my friend and stay well